I rarely do this, but I gotta do this one cold, people, because I read the comments on this video, and I thought the comments section on one of the other videos I just did was stupid. Uh, this one is absolutely, it's beyond comprehension. So who is this person? For Harriet. Y'all, don't even give a fuck about women and babies. A reproductive rights mini rant. Are you ready for some steaming piles of fresh bullshit? Let's go. Please excuse me while I rant for a few minutes. Please excuse me while I rant back for a few minutes. Obviously, this is a very precarious time for women's reproductive freedom in the United States. Mm, what about men's reproductive freedom? Oh. I keep forgetting. I mean, we are literally one 86-year-old woman who has survived cancer three times away from abortion being illegal in this country. I mean, where do they get this freaking information? I don't know what your name is. Kim something? If Roe is overturned, and it will be eventually, it'll go back to the states. Now, some states will make it illegal because guess what, Kim? You can tell us all day, well, 98% of Americans support abortion. Bullshit. You do not have the majority of votes that you think you do, and it's scaring the living fuck out of you baby-killing women. Because you know it's going to be overturned, or rather, it's going to be overturned eventually, and it's going to be made illegal in a lot of states, such as the Dakotas, Texas, maybe Louisiana, some of the other southern states. Tough shit. Did feminism not go and fight for a woman's right to vote? Yet, over 50% of the women in this country, you don't want to hear from them because they're not going to vote your way. Thus, that's why Roe is so convenient, isn't it? Because it can't be overturned by a vote. It's in the Constitution. I mean, what can I say about that besides elections matter? What can I say about that except you're dead wrong? Go on. No, I'm really not sympathetic to anti-abortion arguments because... How can you be against abortion and be ramped up to stop abortion, mm. but don't want to fund programs to protect pregnant women? Why should I fund programs to protect a choice? No one is forcing you to get pregnant. You have a dozen and a half forms of birth control. You can abstain. You can use a condom. You could give it up for adoption if you have the baby or safe house, or you can get an abortion. No one is forcing you to remain pregnant in the United States. But I want that baby. Tough shit. Then pay for it. Why is your choice in life my fucking problem? It's not. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Either. Checked out the CIA fact book, and the United <laughs> States is actually one of the... Yeah, yeah, maternal deaths. Go ahead. Feed us some bullshit. Well, it went up 100% in Alabama. Yeah, from three to five or something. Horrible situation. Come on. Here's another thing that isn't rampant, but we're going to say it is. Bullshit. Most dangerous countries to be pregnant and have a baby in in the Western world. We go out to 45 days after a woman has a baby. And if she suddenly dies, well, that's a maternal death. Isn't that convenient? We live in a country with virtually no social safety net for poor people. I mean, I've got to get the goat, people. Did you just hear what she said? <laughs> We live in a country with virtually no social safety net for poor people. With no further ado, we're going to give you the numbers on what black families receive a year in welfare. $326,217,880,000 in welfare. $326,217,880,000 Is this woman living on the same fucking planet? Every goddamn welfare program is out there to support women who have, have single babies. Section 8, you got WIC, you got welfare, you got cash, you've got housing, you, you got free everything for poor, you got title freaking, what is it, 10, free birth control. And if they're raped or incest, the crime, they can get a free abortion. And yet we have no freaking safety net. Oh my God. That's why women with children make up a shockingly high number of the adults who live below the poverty lines. Yeah, well, it depends on how you calculate it. Uh, tell me about the men who are homeless, who don't have access to welfare programs because they have a dick. I have experience with this, Kim. I tried to get a homeless guy some food stamps and a place to stay. And you know what they told me? Tough shit in so many words. So, wah. So if you're not going to be aggressive about mitigating the circumstances that plunge so many women and children into poverty. What is that circumstance? What is it? 
unprotected sexual activity. There is no reason in the United States, if you do not want to have a child, you have to have one. And yet you're sitting there, well, what are you going to do? Well, how are you going to mitigate this? Close your legs. Use birth control. Use abortion. Use adoption. Use everything you have to if you don't want to become a mother. It's there. And if you're a poor woman, you could probably get an abortion paid for by Title Ten. What more do you want? Yet with all of these things, all the birth control, free birth control, Planned Parenthood, condoms, all of this shit, 70% of black children are born out of wedlock. The average is 40% in this. 40%! If you don't want to have a child, don't have one. But no, me thinks there might be some incentive to have children. You remember that safety net you said doesn't exist? <laughs> Or if you're not going to address the circumstances that make pregnancy four times more dangerous for black women than white women. What am I supposed to tell you? Don't get pregnant. I mean, if you're that worried about it, don't get knocked up. Or if you do, have an abortion. Then why should I care what you have to say about fetuses? I've how is she connecting these two? Well, if you don't care about this statistic over here, how can you say anything about fetuses? There, there's no connection between what you just said. No connection whatsoever. You... But if, if all these black women are worried about getting pregnant, then don't become pregnant. Oh, what about rape? What about incest? Less than 1% of abortions come from that. And we assume someone who's raped, not necessarily true, but a lot of those women probably get an abortion if they get pregnant. Less than 1%. 99% of abortions are performed for convenience. Does that make more sense why we might worry about why this is all going on? Never been able to understand how you can say that you care about babies and children when at the core of the anti-abortion argument is babies are a punishment for women's irresponsibility. What? What the fuck are you talking? Whoa, this guys, this is going to go down the rabbit hole real quick. They, what did she just say? Well, that's the reason pro-lifers, because it's the punishment for the women. What are you? <laughs> oh my God. And yeah, women are still the ones who are punished. Uh, yeah. How? How is that? If you get pregnant, you can have an abortion. You can have an adoption. You can keep the baby. And then the man gets punished for 18 years. How again are you being punished? Because you know who can still walk away? Men. <laughs> oh, oh, I called it, didn't I? Yeah, somebody with a social security card, someone with a driver's license, someone with an address, you point at him, he's the guy, he cannot walk away. Unless he's some kind of thug or criminal or he leaves the country. Are you out of your freaking mind? This is not 1940 when that stuff probably happened. Not even 1960, 2019 current year. There's no fucking way. If you name a man as a father of that child, he's walking away. Bullshit. And I don't even want to hear about child support and custody and all of that. Well, of course not, because you wouldn't want to talk about that, because that might involve um, some inconvenient facts you don't want to discuss. Because most men don't even make enough money for child support to even be a real thing. Now think about this. W what is your decision-making skill? That you're sleeping with a dude who don't, he doesn't have a job and can't afford child support. Who is making the stupid choice? You can't take responsibility for anything because you're a woman. Okay, let's stop it. Please, nobody cares about your $300 a month. What kind of life do you expect a baby brought here as a punishment to have? What kind of mothering do you expect a baby brought here as a punishment to receive? And but who is talking punishment? There's probably some sect of Christianity in, in some corner of some weird place. <laughs> it's a punishment from God. It is not a widespread thing if it even happens at all. I call bullshit. And then conservatives consistently vote to defund social programs. We want to reduce it because it's an incentive. With no further ado, we're going to give you the numbers on what black families receive a year in welfare. 326 billion. 217 million 880 thousand 135 dollars and 68 cents to have children out of wedlock can you not freaking see this my god
Our foster care system is a mess. It is disgusting and outrageous. The adoption process is cost prohibitive for 90% of the population. I'm going to go with you on this because I really don't know, but I, I'm sure if it's a government program, you're right. It's probably fucked up. But yeah, you really care about children. So if I were you, instead of flashing up a bunch of bullshit statistics that can be misinterpreted a hundred different ways, just tell me this. If you don't want to get pregnant, use birth control. Two forms every time. And if you do get pregnant, you can get an abortion. And it's not going to be illegal nationwide, despite the propaganda from people like you. Link will be below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.